My name is Raymond Goodchild. My Anishinaabe name is Taibishko Makwa. My totem is bear and moose. I'm from Pogoshing Place Flat First Nation. I'm a counselor, uh, elder of the community, and today I would like to talk about the Anishinaabe law, the seven grandfather teachings. Seven grandfather teachings was given down by Kitchiminto to a child to carry on with life in the Anishinaabe law of principles and goodness. The Anishinaabe law also has the cycle of life. In the East, they have fire, tobacco, spring, mental health, birth, and childhood. Then you go to the south direction, you have land, sweet grass, summer, physical health, youth, and adolescence. Then you go to the west, you have water, sage, autumn, emotional healing, and adulthood and parents. Then you go to the north, you have air, wind, winter, spiritual health, elders, grandparents. That's part of the cycle of life. Next, we'll talk about the different kind of animal spirits are in the Nishabi law and seven teachings. We'll go on to Mikiski the eagle. Miigwech. This is the eastern door, eastern direction of Migiski the eagle. The eagle represents love, okay? People, men and women, all got to have love for themselves and love for their children and, and the, as you raise them. So here is the more information about the eastern door and love written down on this plaque. Thank you very much. This is uh, another teachings of the Anishinaabe law and the seven grandfather teachings, people may call them. It's called wisdom. And the clan animal that represents wisdom is a mick beaver. And the information about beaver, a little bit what I could share is wisdom, to know the right and wrong in life, right? You always have to learn what is right and wrong and the consequences in life, all right? If that's a very simple teaching, but there's more teachings to wisdom. Thank you. Well, this is another teaching of the seven grandfathers in the Shelby Law. The animal, the totem that represents this, or clans, is the Megan spirit, wolf spirit. And it's about humility. Humility is, you don't have a big eagle, right? Everything's not surrounded around you, right? You try to be very humble in life and trying to be peaceful, humble, not arrogant. Basically, that's what it tries to teach you, this Nishnabi law and this grandfather seven teachings. And it's in the south door, Miigwech. This teaching is about west, southwest. And this is one of the bisons. It represents the hoof clan or the hoof clan, right? And it's about respect, right? Everyone's got to try to have respect in this world to teach everyone that everyone deserves their opinion. Everyone's got their way of living, if it's right or wrong, but long there is a way of respecting people. You don't go around trying to take charge and try to control everyone. Miigwech. This is Sabi, or Bigfoot, and he's in the western direction. He is the healer. He will help us emotionally to heal. 
He represents the Anishinaabe value of honesty and the Anishinaabe law of being honest in life. If you're honest in life, everything will work out. Okay? Miigwech. Thank you. And this is Makwa Totem. Uh, I call him Makwa Totem. This is the seventh grandfather teaching bear and the Anishinaabe law bear. It represents bravery and courage, a place where you have to fear, become fearless and start working on yourself and be, have courage and bravery to do things that will heal you. Miigwech. Father seven teachings about the water and truth. The animal spirit that represents or the clan that represents it is turtle, right? Truth. When you talk, you act, your actions, you have to be truthful to live a good life. Men of Bosman. Our intention with the seven grandfathers teachings is to live a good life, right? And the Shnabi laws are all included in there. There's a whole sharing concept of that. This is just a little bit of what is all that about, okay? The Wabu in truth. Miigwech, thank you very much.